Farm Guy here with a new mod test for Farming Simulator 22, and this is the Man TGS Crane HKL. Uh, this is for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5, and this is by HR Forst und Frauzenbrau, 25.28 megabytes to download. It is a two, uh, it's a pack of two items, and we'll talk about this. We're going to play around with this in a little bit. However, here it is uh, without all the fancy dancy colors and everything. It is a pack of two. It has. It is a hook, hook lift truck with a train or train a crane um, uh, on the front. So something we haven't seen before. Actually, I don't believe we have. This is a new combination. It also comes with um, a, a cont uh, well a. A box shall we say and uh, we're going to look at both of these items first of all uh, you know what to keep it simple let's look at where you find the hook lift box itself because that's going to be uh, nice and short it's under trailers and there it is the lizard HKL platform $7,500 it does not contain product it is basically only um, a flat deck really is what it is uh, as you can see it doesn't have any capacity or anything so you can't fill it with anything um, and it won't hold anything and the only options we have is color and we have all the HR Forst and Frozenbrow colors we have come to know and love in that particular particularly random order it would seem um, and so, uh, $1,500 for colors. Let's see what it is for... Uh, yeah, so base game... Oh, I always do that. Uh, base game colors and... Yeah, so $1,500 to change the color, no matter which one of them you choose. Um, there is some uh, metallic... That's a bit of a metallic-ish light blue. Uh, same with this, I think. Yeah, kind of like a bronzy... I would say a metallic color but anyways uh the floor of the yeah the floor stays that um steel diamond uh plate type steel color right okay so what about the truck itself well the truck itself is easy to find it's under trucks and here it is a hundred and thirty thousand dollars so relatively in the same ballpark as you would expect uh, up to 880 horsepower as uh, most of their man trucks are automatic transmission 400 liters of fuel 49 miles per hour and as i said 26 slots on console now we have the 500 standard horsepower uh, for the base model 640 horsepower or the 880 horsepower model and it does have a hitch on the back so we're going to test that out too in a moment if i remember hopefully i remember right wheels if you're familiar with the hr forced and frozen brow mods these are all going to be the same as uh, their other man truck um offerings trailerberg that is what it is continental nokian is the only one that you can uh, ground king or the uh, tr 12s there so that is the option for wheels windscreen stone guard that thing there bull bar yes or with lights now we have uh lights orange blinking and lights blue blinking so you have a choice between orange or blue uh the blue apparently cost another 300 dollars on top of that roof headlights always nice to have extra lighting so we have orange blinking or blue blinking lights again uh, the blue is more money crane cabin windows clear or tinted flash lights no or yes those are in the grill as you can see orange or blue right okay uh, those apparently don't cost more depending on which one you have horns those are decoration only well not decoration that there are 
There are is that does have a horn. We'll talk about that in a moment. Sun shield color. We have it purple, green, or black. It is a subtle color difference, as you can see. We'll leave it green. Warning strips. That is those warning bits on the corner and well just on the cab as far as i know headlight protection grids on the front of the headlights a beacon orange blue orange or blue those are the beacons up top so you can have them blue or orange blue cost 250 side marker lights i Oh, down there at the bottom, by in front of the rear wheel, the front of the front, and the, right along that bottom. Yes, okay, $1,000 for that. Vehicle lettering. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Fire department, so you can have it just on the cab. It just says, uh, in German, I'm guessing, fire department and the yellow stripes and Führerruhr on the front. This is a significant choice, as I will demonstrate later. Back flasher. That sounds kind of obscene, actually, a little bit. Um, there we go. Those are just above the rear taillights. If you can see blue, orange, blue, or no. Right? Okay. Claw color. We have, yes, as you would expect, uh, a somewhat reduced palette of colors. Uh, there we have the HTL parts color. We're going to make that pink. Or let's make that red. So you can see the red bits. That's, the, that's what changes there. The hook color. Yes, you can change the hook separately, that color. Cabin above. Uh, let's go with, I don't know, orange. Fire truck orange, there we go. Cabin below, let's go with um, yellow. Right, okay. Crane color itself, let's go with a baby blue. And the crane cabin color, let's go with a brown as we'll spin around here as you can see that. Or we can make it actually red. There you go. And then rim colors, we have uh, the polished metal, we have chrome. And then every other color, blue even, that's a bright blue. And license plate. Now, there you go, that's uh, color options are never an issue, at least if you like lots of them with, the, uh, with these guys. All right, let's hop into this one. Now, uh, let's get our help window on because we're gonna need it. Uh, let's start it up. There we go. So this one is not the fire truck model. As you can see, we have lights. We have beacons. Only those beacons. This is the base model, remember? Now, a horn. Sounds pretty normal. Oh, no it isn't. Baby shark, doo -doo 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 -doo. baby shark. Oh, yes. <laughs> Looney shark, doo -doo 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 -doo. okay, that's enough of that. Right, so, um, let's, let's show you how to crane opening and closing. No, you don't want to do that. We don't want the crane, we want the hook. So that is L1 and left on your D-pad. Now it was, I had it retracted, but this is how you get it here when it comes down like so. That's how you get it. So if you want to uh, dispense the, the, uh, the hook lift, L1 and left on your D-pad, and it will extend out that hook. And so I do not have any other hook lift um, attachments downloaded. They may or may not work with this. I would, I'm going to guess that yes, because typically they all, they all should. This is, uh, these guys are pretty, 
compatible with most things. L1 and left again, and it will pull this back up onto here like so, and there you have it. Now, so now you have a, a flat deck with sides on it. Let's talk about this for a minute. Uh, if we click our triangle button, we will highlight that box side now, or that box behind us, and L1, and we have an L1 and um, a right stick. And that will actually lower the left side so that you can load it with pallets or whatsoever, or you can leave it up and uh, use it to load whatever you want with the crane, right? We still have the crane, remember? R1 and right stick left and right opens and closes that right side like so. Now, how did I get that tractor in? That, uh, that other one? Well, I actually had it on the ground. You can have it on the ground as long as you have it attached to the hook. As we'll show you, open the cover. We'll put it down. I'm sorry if this is taking a little bit long to explain, but uh, there is a lot that goes on, that is going on with these things. So we still have control of our box while it's be while it's still hooked up. See, it's still con uh, connected. L1 and and left no, L1 and right stick, and there we go. So we can lower that side down. You can even do that and make it all goofy but you can do this like so and then easily put anything you want oh, yes there there is tension straps and tension belts as well and that's the normal r1 and right stick press the right stick down right so let's detach that for a moment and just get this back in l1 and that's all we have we have we'll talk about the crane in a moment we're not done yet r1 l1 and r1 uh where is oh there it is r1 and l3 pushed it down lowers that back axle see that r1 and left stick so we have a you can raise that up or lower it with that all right crane L1 and X that will engage the crane like so and it will do this when it unfolds like so and there is a light on the crane as well to actually show you where you are now views interior cab it is pretty standard for a man or a man truck one more click and you are in the crane one more click of the right uh, button or the right joystick and you're back out here so cab crane cabin outside those are your three choices Right, so control group crane one, that's what we're on right now. And L1 and right stick, left and right, moves your crane back and forth, up and down, basically in and out, or like so, it ex extends out and back in, left and right. Those are the L1 and control, R1 and right stick, is your up and down movement so pretty basic controls there once you get that it's pretty simple as far as cranes go then we have L1 and R1 and right stick controls the rotation of your claw and up and down your grabbing now do we have tension belts no we don't have a tension belt on that claw which is would have been quite helpful however it might have interfered with uh, the back uh, part I'm not sure so it could have been a conflict there and that's your crane um, part now we still have a few more things to look at there are the uh, those are the little lights remember we're showing the little uh, 
flashers at the back those could be blue or uh, yellow sorry yeah blue or orange the orange they, you see there now we have the lights up front up top you see they're flashing blue here's the grill flashers as you can see down here we have orange flashing with the lights so lots of things going on here with this fellow uh, let's see here folding it back up the crane will actually uh, the L1 and X puts it all away no matter what um, you had going with it it's all folds up and tucks away very nicely I have this truck or tractor strapped down here let's go for a little ride this one of course is the uh, all beefed up one and we get up to the 51 miles per hour very quickly as you can see oh yes we have this as a fire truck one remember L1 and right stick to your right very loud siren L1 and right stick to your left turns that off thank goodness um yes so do we still have the yes we have the looney shark song still going with the truck it seems to be standard um standard equipment now with all of their trucks right so we're going to go for a good run here and we'll see if we can um make it up let's uh uh, siren there we go uh, close that side up let's set the cruise control let's close our sides so we want to be safe here and uh, we're gonna see how we can how, how well can we get up this a uh, very steep part of our test track here uh, for a little bit of fun to end this video and oh yeah not too bad actually that's actually quite good um this is going to be the fun part it is extremely bit of a steep down here and oh actually it survived quite well uh will we make it up this one i kind of doubt it but we're gonna try anyways we made it up to the 51 mile per hour speed uh, max speed and uh, oh just about <laughs> she's she's trying to hold on to her dear life did we oh we didn't lower that back oh I wonder if that's gonna make a difference we didn't lower that back axle uh, let's let's give this one more try if you're game enough to uh, keep watching or if you're still watching let's give this one more try with that rear axle lowered to see if we get any better traction that should tell us uh, if uh, actually gives better traction with that rear wheel down and oh we didn't we didn't fare much better well it's not like you're going to be climbing up those kinds of uh steep hills anyways so uh let's stop it right there and uh and there you have it i think i don't think i've missed anything I think we've covered it all. There it is. That's the Man TGS Crane HKL uh, by HR Forst und Frausenbrau. 25.28 megabytes to download. 26 slots on console. Thank you all for watching. I'm Looney Farm Guy. And remember, it's only a game. So till next time, bye for now.